When it comes to storing large amounts of information while still remaining cost effective, hard drives are the go-to option. In this video, I will be explaining how hard drives work. Within a hard drive, there are small silver disks, known as platters. These disks are coated with a film of microscopic, magnetized metal grains. Your data is recorded as a magnetic pattern formed by the groups of the tiny grains. Each of these groups is known as a bit. In each group, all of the grains have their magnetization in one of two different states. These states correspond to ones and zeros. Data is recorded on the disk by changing strings of bits into an electrical current, which is then sent to the electromagnet on the read slash write head. The electromagnet creates a field that is powerful enough to change the direction of the metal grain's magnetization. Once the ones and zeros are written onto the platter, the drive then turns it back into understandable information by using its magnetic reader. But how does the computer change ones and zeros into understandable information, you may ask? Well, there's actually more to it than that. This is when binary comes into play. The computer reads these ones and zeros and is able to change them into characters, images, video games, and literally everything that is stored on your hard drive. For example, computers see the letter A as a string of eight ones and zeros. Since there are eight ones and zeros in that total string, it is eight bits. Eight bits is equivalent to one byte, meaning that each character you type on your keyboard adds one byte or eight bits to the file size. There are also other digital storage units, which are more commonly known. A kilobyte is 1024 bytes, a megabyte is 1024 kilobytes, and a gigabyte is 1024 megabytes. This pattern of 1024 continues to terabytes, petabytes, exabytes, and even zettabytes. My channel on it, for example, is about 2.18 megabytes. This means that it is around 17,440,000 bits. That's a lot of ones and zeros.